Hi, it's April 30th. I go away for a week and this is what I come back to. I want to show you what's uh, been going on over the past week. First of all, I want to show you what I did before I left. You know, I've got the row covers on each of the beds and I did that to uh, protect everything um, from any heavy rains, wind, and the critters that are running around here. But I did these uh, bags to help hold the uh, edges of the row covers down. All I did was I took a, a little waste, pas waste basket bag and filled it with eight pounds of sand, like this. All I did was spin it, double it over like that, and then just tie it shut. Easy to do. Tie it shut like that. And so I've got the 30 some odd bags holding those row covers down and uh, along with the clamps and the hose on the PVC pipe hold everything together really well. So we'll start with my 10 foot beds. This is the bed with all my tomatoes. I'm not going to grow nearly as many tomatoes as I did last year. I had 64 plants. This year I've got well, 20. And so I planted the tomatoes uh, last Friday so eight days ago and I also put uh, lettuce and radishes down the center of the, the bed. So interplanting those, those will be harvested before the tomatoes get very big. And so those came up pretty well. It looks like I've got something coming up underneath the bed and grabbing some of the stuff. Maybe. It looks like. I don't know though. Anyway, everything's coming up pretty good and the tomatoes uh, have shown some growth in the last week too. These are all my hot peppers and uh, like the tomato bed I planted lettuce and some radishes down in the gaps between the peppers uh, rows. So hot peppers and then I didn't have enough to fill this bed so I put some of my uh, sweet peppers over here. I've got some orange peppers down at the end, probably about six or seven plants. And here's the rest of my peppers. These are all my sweet peppers. Some of them have grown pretty well. Others looks like they've been chewed on. So I've got a pest problem. So I didn't know if they'd be able to get up underneath the row covers. Apparently they are. So I'm going to have to close that off better. The row covers are going to stay on these beds uh, at least a couple more weeks. And not because uh, I'm afraid of any frost damage, but um, because I don't have my fence up yet. The fence keeps everything out these row covers. Apparently they find a way to get up underneath there, get in there and uh, chow down. So I'm going to have to take care of that before they eat my peppers all gone. And here's my carrots. It looks like I got about 80% germination rate out of these. I'd like to have had more. 90% would be nice, but you take what you can get. So they're coming up pretty good. I'm going to leave the row covers on these too for at least a couple more weeks. And uh, one of the purposes for the row covers on these beds is to protect from heavy rain because like on these carrots when they're small like that, uh, heavy rain will pound them down and pound them into the mud that's created by a, a fast heavy rain and then uh, you know they can die off like that. So I just want to protect them from that and you know those critters. Here I have green beans and peas. The peas are doing well. The green beans uh, didn't come up as well as I uh, thought they might have. Probably about half of them came up. So again, I'll take what I can get. Um, that's not all the green beans I'm going to plant though. I just did this bed to start off the season with. Those peas are going to get about two feet tall. Those are uh, sweet peas. So I'll put a little support in there in another week or so and uh, let them grow up and get them harvested when the time is right. And here's my lettuce. Boy, I got lettuce. This was probably tripled in size in the last week. And I think it has to do with the row covers keeping these things nice and warm. There's my radishes down here if I can find my hand. So the radishes are, yeah, see some of them chewed on that a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get this fence up soon protect everything but the radishes are looking pretty good. These are different varieties of lettuce. I'm gonna have to 
get some of that. That looks really good. And of course my peas and a little stray grass. So, whoops, excuse my finger. So that's, uh, and I got some spinach right here in there as well. And the kale, kale. So that looks really nice. I'm gonna have to pick that lettuce though. Looks like I'll be eating a lot of salad this year. One thing I did while I was gone, and I didn't know how much rain we were going to get, I opened up the rain barrel just enough to get some water to, to flow through the, the valve there. And I wanted to get maybe a constant uh, drip drip out of the uh, irrigation system here. The uh, row covers, from what I understand, let about half the rain through, and uh, I didn't want to take a chance on anything uh, drying out. so. I let that go and uh, checked when I got back yesterday and the barrels were about half full so they did water the gardens a bit so everything turned out really nice and I just want to mention that my garden looks kind of crappy if you notice that excuse the sound there anyway uh, I'm digging up all this mulch and I'm getting the mulch out of here and I'm gonna put the red stone down and uh, then I'm not gonna have to worry about mulching in here anymore the mulch degrades and all that, and then uh, you get organic matter and the weeds start to grow, and uh, I got tired of that. So I'm just going to get rid of it, throw the stones in, and I won't have to worry about that ever again. So, garden's turning out pretty good, and got a little bit of work to do on it today. And uh, as always, if the information on my videos is helpful, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back soon with another update.